How are you? Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yes, I have been so criticized because I'm blonde and I'm not the typical Peruvian for so many people that since 2018 I was in the cover of one of the most important magazines in Peru and they were saying like, you don't represent us, you're not Peruvian. So um, since I was little I have been really exposed to the media because of my family. So I really think that I know how to manage it. I just don't let uh, people's opinions, destructive opinions coming to me and can influence in my emotions because if not I will be in my literally like in my home crying. <laughs> so I just I consider myself uh, an emotional intelligent emotional person so that's something good because it's allowed me to to manage things better when it's about media. No, I actually got more criticism at first and it was the same, I didn't let those opinions uh, go through me. But nowadays they are really support, they're supporting and everything. But yes, at the beginning it was really difficult. And that's why also my cap, my, my bikini cape, is about embracing diversity because it's um, the message I want to give. Here I am, I'm Peruvian, I'm blonde, I have green eyes, but Peru has a, a multicultural, is a multicultural country from people from Every, everywhere and it's not about the physical appearance. So I was first studying childhood education and then uh, I received a contract from a New York model agency. So it was difficult at the beginning because I am really united with my family so it was difficult to go to a city like New York but I moved and um, yes, it was like I, I didn't stop until achieving my goal and then I came back to Peru because of, of the contest. So before Miss Universe, I, I, I just told her like Miss Universe for me is not just like um, preparing for Miss Universe, like all the classes you have, it's, it's more about what you have done before and what you want to do. So uh, I am part of a non-social organization for so many years before the Miss Peru pageant um, and I have also became independent at the age of 18. So I want to inspire that, like childhood education, financial independence in women and just keep working with brands, uh, with huge brands I work with like Reebok, Silauder, um, so many good brands, Tommy Hilfiger, like so many good brands that I just want to com continue working with them and, and being like these boys because we always, this is a good thing also of working with these brands that I can go to them and say like, hey, why don't we do a campaign, like a pulling campaign? So last time we did a pulling campaign with Rework and it was like super great. <laughs> so that's great because you can, now also with social media, like you can do so many things and uh, communicate so well that I see myself like just working in what I love. Childhood education, definitely. I started to study childhood education, studying, and it's my passion. Like for me, children is like, it's a feeling of fulfillment, totally. It's like an angel <laughs> I have with kids, and I have felt it like all my life since I was very little. So definitely I will focus on, on promoting the access on education, um, the, the economy, of course, for the teachers, um, the access because education is the progress and it's the progress they are the future our children are the future generations and everything begins with education everything like uh, at the school and in home i feel that it's super important also to teach those values thank you so much <laughs> thank you